Now we have some missing number problems. First, one and one third minus what is two thirds? So when the number that we're subtracting is missing, we can find the missing number by subtracting. We can work out one and one third minus two thirds and that will give us our missing number. But we're subtracting two thirds and in the fraction part of our mixed number, we only have one third. So we need to change one and one third into an improper fraction. That's four thirds because one times three is three plus one is four. So now we can subtract two thirds. Remember, when we're subtracting fractions with a common denominator, the denominator stays the same in our answer, and four minus two is two. So our missing fraction is two thirds. Now, something minus three quarters is two quarters. Now remember, subtraction problems can be read backwards as addition problems, so we can find our answer by adding two quarters and three quarters. When the first number of a subtraction problem is missing, you can use the inverse operation, so use addition to find your missing number. So the denominator stays the same in our answer, and two plus three is five. So our answer is five quarters, or as a mixed number is one and one quarter, because five divided by four is one remained a one, and the denominator stays the same. Now, something plus four ninths is one and two ninths. So whenever you have a missing number addition problem, you can use subtraction to find your missing number. So we can work out one and two ninths minus four ninths to find our missing number. But four ninths is larger than two ninths, and because the fraction that we're subtracting is larger than the fraction in our mixed number, we need to change this mixed number into an improper fraction. That's 11 ninths, because one times nine is nine, plus two is 11, and our denominator stays the same. We're subtracting four ninths, so the denominator stays the same in our answer, and 11 minus four is seven, so our missing number is seven ninths. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.